powder drop machines, there's been a lot of debate lately what matters, what doesn't, um, what the accuracy of your powder charge has to do with um, groups and vertical dispersion downrange, how that correlates and how it actually affects your um, SDs and ESs. So we got five different powder machines um, or powder drops. We got a Prometheus, which is the industry standard um, for accuracy. We had an auto trickler, um, which is the new one with an electronic um, scale. We have a charge master, which a lot of the shooters um, use and trust. Um, we got a Hornaday lock and load or auto charge. And we got a Harrell's powder drop, which mostly used by bench rest shooters. Um, we documented all the charges, um, how long it took to produce the charge, what the accuracy of the charge was, and we verified it all on a lab scale after everything was dropped and we documented all of that. Um, I'll turn it over to Ryan Cheney, kind of how we come up with the idea and, and what the uh, what it all would entail when we put it on paper tomorrow. Yeah, basically, well, it all started out because Derek and I are both uh, co-founders of the Kansas Precision Rifle Club, and we shoot a lot together out at his range. And, you know, a lot of guys, some guys have the money to spend on a Prometheus. It's a very nice piece of equipment. I have never used one until this evening. Auto Trickler, a lot of guys are getting into that because it's very accurate, it's very fast, and it's very reasonable. Um, I've run an RCBS Charge Master for years. I've always relied on it, and I've always felt like it was accurate you know the scale inside of it i felt like when it says 42.2 it's 42.2 and derek says actually the scale that's in that isn't what you think it is even though it's a, a fairly pricey piece of equipment at about 350 bucks so that's when we had this idea let's put them all together we have two rifles that are very well known for being very accurate um, i have a gas gun 6.5 creedmoor he has a bolt gun 647 Lapua. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a little bit of a spectrum in that we have two guns that are very accurate with two loads that we know are very accurate, but load those loads on five different devices, verify those loads on a lab scale that goes down to two hundredths of a grain. To Friday morning, we're going to go shoot and we're going to get data on speed and on paper to verify the data that we got tonight loading to see if it makes a difference, does does a um, having a, a two or three hundred and fifty dollar RCBS Charge Master can it compete with the Prometheus? Does it matter? Is a node is a is a node wide enough that in PRS does it matter that much? So that's basically the premise of the experiment. Um, tonight we've found that the lock and load and the Charge Master are basically within two tenths. If it says 42 by 0.2, it might be 42.1, it might be 42.3, 42.4. Even though it says 42.2, according to that lab scale over there, that's a very expensive piece of equipment. It's not exactly 42.2. But the Auto Trickler and the Prometheus were 0 0.04 of a grain variance, four hundredths. Um, and then the Harrell's Precision Powder Drop was a 0.4 of a grain of variance. So will it make a difference? We'll find out in the morning. Uh, a couple of different factors that are going to play into um, whether your powder drop has an effect on um, group dispersion downrange is what powder you're using, of course, temperature of the powder, and then how wide your harmonic node is in the barrel and the rifle that you're using. Mm -hmm. um, my rifle that I'm using actually has an 8 tenths grain accuracy node in it right now, and I loaded right in the middle of that. so. I'm curious to see how it, how it plays out um, downrange. His rifle um, is a gas gun, but it yeah. shoots like a bolt gun. Um, yeah, it's so um, really interesting. You want to go over the specs of your gun real quick? That way we've got it on. Yeah, I can do that. You um, go ahead and do yours and I'll tell mine. I don't know if you can see it. It's a GA Precision Tempest. Um, it's got a Bartline 7.5 twist, heavy Palma, um, chambered 647. Yeah, I'm launching 110 SMKs at, um, I believe they're right at 2950. Um, it's a 26 or 27 inch barrel um, in a Manners um, carbon fiber elite stock with a Collis 624i on it. And then your load data? Um, and my load data is 37.6 grains of 4350. Um, I'm seated 8 thousandths off the lands um, and it's a standard. It depends on all my brass is prepped the same for every um, powder drop, but it runs around 4SD. Uh, mine's a, uh, it's a 
LR308, um, 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, AR10. Um, it's got a, a Criterion, was 24 inch barrel, we cut it back to 22, uh, direct thread um, Omega can. Let's see, load data, um, 42.2 grains of 43.50, Lapua brass, CCI 450 primer, um, Hornady 140 ELDM projectile loaded mag length, uh, 2.815. Um, also to remove the variables, um, and to make the only variable, the powder drop, is all of our 50 cases for each machine. We loaded 10 rounds of each. They're all prepped the same. They're all primed the same. Um, all the neck tension is, is identical. Anything that was seated hard was put to the side. Um, so the only variable will be um, powder drop. Um, and we're going to chronograph with lab radar right. for the whole process, too. That way we have you know, speed, accuracy, and then that will correlate directly to... Uh, the, the powder drops that we've got. So We'll document it all with the SDs and the ES um, per each machine. And as of tonight, um, the auto trickler actually threw within the same accuracy as my Prometheus. Yes, so. it did. And mine too, four hundredths of a grain. And uh, it was the average time on the auto trickler. It was about 13 seconds. It was pretty quick. Uh, the auto trickler on mine, average time was around, yeah, 12 seconds. Yeah. And then my Prometheus was an average of eight seconds and I had it tuned. Yeah. So you're just you're buying a little bit of time. Yeah, um, the um, we did have an issue uh, with the Hornady. Um, it consistently would overthrow, so we basically had to work around that, um, where we actually had to pull powder back out. You know, not zero it out, but go, you know, erase like clear it out, and then literally hand trickle every load, which kind of gave a little bit of an advantage to the Hornady over the RCBS because the RCBS we just took the throw and, and weighed it. Um, where normally when I load for a match I'm going to pull kernels or I'm going to add kernels to, to make sure that the scale says what it says. It says The Hornady got a little bit of a bonus there because we just couldn't get it to work in a normal condition. Every every round over through. We tried the straw trick. We tried everything and uh, it was frustrating but um, yeah we literally hand trickled um, every load from the Hornady. Something we do want to mention, um, we have no affiliation with any of these companies or any of the powder drop machines. Um, I just wanted a, a good test for new shooters to get a, the best bang for their buck for powder drops um, so they can make an educated decision on what they want to buy. Um, the Prometheus runs $5,100. You can lease it for $3,600. Uh, where the auto trickler starts at 950 up to 1100 depending on what scale you get. Um, the RCBS is uh, 300 to 350 depending on where you can find it online. And the uh, Hornady, uh, 200 bucks at Cabela's, and then the Harrell's um, is about 330 Will it make a difference? We'll find out in the morning.